guys and welcome back to my channel. So this is a highly requested video and I'm finally sitting down to film 10 things I love about Iceland. Okay, number one is the language. No, I'm only kidding. So number one is nature. Iceland is an incredibly unique place. As soon as you land, you literally feel like you've landed on another planet. You've got lava fields that are so stark and dramatic. And then in the summertime, they're covered by moss, which is incredibly beautiful. And then in the winter time, they've got this dusting blanket of snow across them. And it's really incredible to see the black and white contrast. You've got black sand beaches, you've got volcanoes with glaciers on them, you've got glacier lagoons, the diamond beach, um, you've got hot rivers, you've got hot pools. There's so much to see here within such a short distance from the city centre as well. It's really fascinating. Number two, hot pools. Hot pools are the way I survive in this country. You've got public swimming pools, which are fantastic. So if you're coming to Reykjavik, make sure you go to a public pool, as well as a secret pool if you can manage one on your itinerary. Obviously, you've got the Blue Lagoon. It is the number one attraction for most people to visit here, and it really is worth it. But there are lots and lots of different options for pools in Iceland, so do some research. I'll try and film a video on this soon as well, um, because it's something that I would like to share with you. Number three is heating here. The heating in Iceland is all geothermal, so it's coming from the active geothermal landscape, which is a little bit worrying when you start thinking about it, but we are surrounded by all these volcanoes, and inside that landscape is lots and lots and lots of hot water. And so the geothermal plants here are working really hard to heat not only our houses and our hot pools and so on, but it means that you have access to hot water pretty much instantly. So when you come in, you can have a hot shower. It doesn't cost too much to have a nice long hot shower. You can turn the heating on, but usually we actually don't have much heating on in the house because all of the buildings are really well insulated. Heating is on throughout the building, so it means that our houses are always cozy warm. So I'm usually not wearing too much indoors, but when you go outside, you need a big, big jacket on. In saying that, walking around Reykjavik, you'll actually see quite a lot of houses with a window open, even if it's snowing outside and minus whatever, because we have to have the uh, hot water running through the pipes, so all of the radiators are on kind of the lowest setting. So sometimes we actually open up the window to try and cool down the room as well. Very different to what it was like in the UK. Number four is safety. I feel as a female walking around Reykjavik or out late at night or whatever, even if I'm just coming home on my own, I feel really, really safe here. It is a very safe country. It's a very safe capital city. There are obviously petty crimes happening as everywhere. I think it's been voted the number one safe capital but don't quote me on that it does feel very much like a town instead of a big bustling city for example i will walk mia to the dag mama in the morning and i will always see children kind of leaving the house in the morning and walking themselves to school and the parents don't have to worry they know that it's going to be okay they know the child is safe you can't buy that can you it's just it's so nice to know that you can kind of give your kids that independence. Number five, a little bit controversial because I did not necessarily think this would be on my list a couple of years ago, but number five is the pace of life. Now, Iceland is a very slow, relaxed kind of lifestyle. This drove me a little bit crazy when I first moved here because coming from an ambitious sort of lifestyle in the academic world, this was very difficult for me to get into but now I am completely on board with it and enjoying motherhood, enjoying working for myself and just enjoying that kind of relaxed pace of life here. Yes, I'm maybe not as productive as I used to be or maybe I still want to be, but there's no pressure on me whatsoever and it's just so nice. Part of that is Ingemar. <laughs> he has kind of taught me this and forced some of it into me but it, it really is an Icelandic trait to be just so chill and kind of set a red dust. It, you know, it'll all work out. Um, and I, I really appreciate that now because it's such a healthier way of living. And I tend to kind of plan things out 
and that that works through a lot of different things in our lifestyle from what can I give you like shopping our 30 day no spend challenge really thinking things through before you take action before you purchase something or invest in something and just taking time to do things really properly um not saying that everything in Iceland is done properly and I think some of that has to do with the weather here so because we have such a difference in summer and winter time because in the winter time you really do just want to hibernate in the summer you're so much more productive and you're going outside and enjoying the sunshine um, and getting as much vitamin D and just exploring and enjoying nature and um, going to go to the beach going to the hot pools and things like that whereas in the winter it is really about kind of hoogie and staying cozy and fairy lights and um, cups of hot chocolate or wine or whatever and just enjoying life and your family and your friends for company and just kind of making nice moments together so number six is snow a couple of years ago that would have been higher up in my list but these days having to actually walk with a buggy through ice and snow it's put it down a little bit lower on the list uh, snow is beautiful it's magical it just transforms the landscape it brightens up the day as well and it just it feels so much more magical and yeah, you end up getting a Christmassy a lot quicker. I'm okay with that. So at the moment it is, what, the 6th of November as I film this and there was snow yesterday. It's a little bit white outside with frost but it's pretty much just all gone because the sun is shining. The next couple of weeks it's going to be pretty white outside and yeah, getting the snow bits on and going out to play with Mia in the snow will be so much fun. Number seven, Northern Lights. Now this is only number seven on the list because they're not there all the time. Obviously you need to have a dark night to be able to see them so in the summertime you do not get the Northern Lights. Seeing the Northern Lights for the first time you might think I was blown away and it was all magical and maybe some people watching have that kind of experience but the first time I saw them they were just kind of like a naff little cloud in the sky um, and I just thought wow was that what I've been waiting for for however many nights of trekking around and trying to find them but then I saw them maybe like a four or five on the scale and they were phenomenal so the second time that I saw them when I saw real aurora dancing was truly magical it was incredible and you just you genuinely cannot believe your eyes it's the weirdest thing to see in the sky and it really does take over the entire sky so when people ask me where should I look you genuinely do just have to look up they are just they're there and they're dancing and they're spectacular and it's so crazy you just I can't really describe it you have to see them if you're coming to Iceland absolutely come in the winter time from November onwards you'll you'll have a good chance of seeing the northern lights and they are so worth it number eight a minimalist lifestyle now this is maybe a kind of on-trend thing these days minimalism and decluttering and finding joy in your life but I think that Iceland does actually have this already in the society so people don't tend to have a lot of clutter in their homes they have a very minimal interior it is heavily influenced by Scandinavian design and I have seen some beautiful homes and some beautiful um, ways of incorporating old furniture into modern interiors as well there's lots of other ways that it comes into the lifestyle here and I think one of them is that Iceland doesn't tend to be a very materialistic country probably because it would be so expensive we don't have like a big high street where you could go shopping we have two malls in the city and both of them pretty much have the same shops in we tend to go there either to do some food shopping so grocery shopping or to take a walk indoors because the weather's so bad outside uh, we don't have like big retail parks that we would go to if we want to do shopping we tend to do it online and order it to our home in Scotland but it means that you have to think a lot harder about what you're going to buy because you've got to be patient until that next trip it's not that Iceland isn't materialistic so that we do have kind of like the trend so everyone has I don't know like the latest iPhone most kids have ear pods um, and yeah everyone's got the 
66 degrees north jacket or whatever I'm just trying to think of examples but they have the best of things so they don't have kind of like high street fast fashion uh, wardrobe it's much more like specific thing you need a good winter coat so you have one really good winter coat you need snow boots so you have one pair of really good winter boots um I don't know if I'm explaining this right but the lifestyle here is a lot more minimal and I think that people select things a little bit more carefully and so you don't end up hoarding and having numerous things in your life. Number nine is food. <laughs> the lamb is delicious in Iceland. There's something like a ratio of three sheep to each person living in Iceland which is kind of crazy considering how small the country is but um, and how much landscape the sheep would actually be on but anyway the lamb is delicious <laughs> and definitely worth trying if you're coming here and the next one is Icelandic skier so not to be confused with yogurt it is a kind of more like a yogurt a cream cheese number 10 I should say is the viking and if he's watching this yes you're number 10 but actually it's being so close to the UK. So I'm from Scotland, my friends and family are mostly in Scotland, and so just being able to book a flight through EasyJet and fly over within like two hours, we can be back in the UK, and it's so nice, especially now having Mia to be connected to her gran, her aunts and uncles, and go and play with her cousins. It's really, really great to just be able to fly over two hours and we're back home. So we get to have the benefits of living in this wonderful country here, but also being able to have our second home back in Scotland as well. Edinburgh is also where I met the Viking, so I'm gonna say that it's a joint number 10. So there we go, stay tuned because I'm gonna be brave and next up I'm gonna film 10 things I hate or dislike about Iceland. So make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss that. Click the little bell so that you get a notification of new videos thumbs up this one to encourage me to keep filming these kind of sit down videos and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>